Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use circle command. Even though this is a very basic command, there are many tips and tricks inside. I'm sure you will learn something in this command reference. Again, it includes usage, concept review exercise, and answer. So let's start. First, the shortcut of the circle command is C. Just type C, you access the command. Of course, this is a command allows you to draw a circle. There are many different options. First, you can draw a circle if you know the center and radius of a circle. If you just know the diameter and center, you can use center diameter method. And if you have circumference of a circle, you can use three points option. If you know the end points of diameter of a circle, you can use two points. And if you know the radius of circle and it is tangent to two other objects, you can use TTR. Okay, let's start. First, to access the circle command, you can either again type the C or access from the ribbon here. Let's start with the keyboard. So type C space bar. When you learn AutoCAD, always read what AutoCAD is asking you below here. This is the most important thing you know in AutoCAD. To learn it well, make sure you read what AutoCAD asks you and answer. Then you will be able to learn AutoCAD real fast. So I type C circle and AutoCAD asks me specify center point of circle. So I click any point here. And then it asks me for the radius of circle, mm, maybe 500. So I type 500. See, that's the first method. Now I press space bar to repeat last command. This time I know the diameter of circle, for example 1000, and I want to draw a circle. Again, I can use circle center diameter method. So specify center somewhere, for example, here, click. It's asking you again radius. I type D, space bar, it will change to ask you the diameter. Now I can input 1000. Okay. Next, we have three points. For example, I draw a random triangle. And I want to draw a circle passing through these three points. So I will use circle C space bar and then use three point option here. You either type three P or you just click this icon here. Now it's asking you the first point, so I click, and second point, I click, and then the third point, I click. Okay. Next two points. For example, I have a 9, and this is the diameter of a circle, then I can use two points. So C space bar and Click the two pawn and then click first pawn and second pawn. Okay. The last one, TTR. T means tangent. What's mean by tangent? For example, a circle and a nine. A nine might not touch a circle. It might also passing through a circle through two pawns. And it might just touch the circle at some point. So this is tangent, just touching. Okay, go back. For example, I have uh, two knives. Now I want to draw a circle touching these two knives with a radius of 500. So C space bar, and I specify T space bar for tangent. And then I move my mouse over the knife, just touch the knife anywhere. For example, here. And 
anywhere for example here and specify 500 okay more example for example I have two circle existing two circle I want to draw a circle tangent to this circle with radius might be 2000 so C spacebar T spacebar now if you touch the circle at the bottom both of them and specify radius you see it draw below again spacebar repeat last command T this time I touch the circle one above one below and 2000 again you see it draw differently so depend on the relative position and it will draw accordingly the circle with the specified radius now if you use ribbon here when you click here you can see AutoCAD already preset all the options for you for example I want to use center diameter I can specify this option here click you see AutoCAD will want the circle command ask you the center after you specify center AutoCAD will automatically type the D for you diameter and ask you for diameter for example I accept 4000 so just per space bar so you can see what you did here is exactly the same as you type in this is something we call customization AutoCAD automatically input the options for you for example three points you can see AutoCAD automatically input the free p for you just that okay so now let's do some concept exercise mm, let's start with this one so I select them I right click isolate isolate so I only see this one mm, okay so first I will draw a circle on the left side C space bar C space bar click and radius 75 now I want to draw another circle 500 from the center of first circle what should I do you really don't need to draw a 9 and then draw a 9 500 and then draw the circle and then erase the 9 you just use object snap tracking so circle center this time you have to the information of diameter I'm sure you don't want to calculate the half of it to get the radius I'm 100% sure okay so center diameter I touch it and I move it just like that don't click on the center just touch the center point of circle and move it away you see there's a green cross there and then you move your mouse following the tracking line now you specify 500 directly you see it will draw directly 500 from the circle this is a skill you should learn well okay now I specify 321.987654 you see if you don't have the diameter option it will be a uh, very difficult for you to input this number again I'm 100% sure then we draw the two nines I will use nine command and here I need to use tangent so I hold the shift and right mouse button to get the tangent here so shift right mouse button okay shift and right mouse button okay you will access the object snap menu so shift right mouse button and I select tangent and I click upon on the circle and and shift right mouse button again tangent and click it spacebar to finish spacebar repeat last command hold the shift key 
right mouse button, tangent, click, shift, right mouse button, tangent. Okay, so that's the first exercise. Let's look at the second one. The second one, I will use rectangle. So click the rectangle, click, and 300, 200. And this circle, you can see touching the top and bottom, but don't have radius. In this case, we use two-point circle. So click here, two-point, and then click and click. You see, that's the one. Okay, next one. Hmm, this one. I will start with the base. So 9, Command L, Spacebar, click, and move it horizontally 100. Okay, and then I will input 5, 50, comma 50 for the coordinate. And then the horizontal 9 is 200. So 200, and then 50, comma, minus 50. Okay, and then horizontal 100. Space bar to finish. Then for the circle, I will type C space bar. I touch the midpoint here and I move it up just like before. And now I can input 300 directly. And then the radius is 150. And spacebar repeat last command for circle. And I select the center of circle and radius with 75. And then I can use 9 command from this point, shift right mouse button, tangent. And click this one, spacebar to finish. With spacebar repeat last command, click and shift right mouse button, tangent, and click space bar to finish. Okay, now I delete it. Again, next exercise. Now this one, there's no circle. Why we have this exercise? The reason is sometimes we use circle as a construction object to create join. Just like this join here, to create this join, I don't know the angle of this 9. I know this is 90 degree, but I don't know how long is this 9. Uh, how can I join? With the circle command as construction 9, we can join. Let's try. So 9, click and move horizontally 320 space bar to finish. And then you draw a circle. Click this as the center point and with the radius of 380. You see, you will draw this circle. Now you can draw a line from this end point, move it up vertically, touching this point and then this point. So this is the first skill of construct a drawing. If you don't know the angle of a nine, but you know the length, you draw a circle, okay? You have the length, you don't have the angle, draw a circle. Next one. This one here, I will isolate it again. Again, this one you can see, first I have to draw this triangle. They are all length, no angle. How can I draw it? Again, you can use the circle construction skill. First, you draw a nine, 360, okay? And then draw a circle. This is the center with the radius 340. And draw another circle with this as end point and 208, okay? Now you have the intersecting point. You can draw nine touching the intersecting point to draw the triangle. Okay. Next, I need to draw a circle enclosing the triangle. Yes, we can use three point option. 
So circle three points. And then first pawn, second pawn, and third pawn. Next one here, circle inside the triangle, touching the triangle. Which method should I use? Look for this one. Click on here. There's one called TTT. Tension, tension, tension. Let's try this. So tension, tension, tension. Select the first line, second line, and third line. Any question? No? You should have. Why? Because look at the option here. You type C command. And there's no TTT. How come there's a TTT in here? The reason is it actually using three point option. I show you. I delete this one. And look at it here. If you click this TTT, AutoCAD actually specify three point and automatically input tension for you. Once you select the first line, it asks you for the second tangent, okay? How about I want to type it myself, can I? Yes, you can. I show you, spacebar repeat last command, three P for the circle, three pawn, and for the first pawn, I type T-A-N, means tangent, and then click. And for the second one, I can hold shift and white mouse button. This is exactly the same. I select from here tangent. The second one, and then shift, white mouse button, and tangent, and click here. So you can see the ribbon is only a customization of all the standard AutoCAD command. I will delete this one. Isolate, and object isolation. Next one here. Okay, this one I will draw a rectangle, 200, 100. And the, I can see this is a circle about the corner, 100. Again, you use object snap tracking skill. Circle, see space bar, touch it, move it up, and then just type 100. You see, it will draw a circle there. Make sure you know this skill. And then finally, I will use tangent, tangent radius. So, ten TTR. Touch the circle, touch the rectangle, radius 40. Next, this one. Hmm, okay, I will draw a rectangle first. 250. I can see this circle touching the two line with radius. So TTR. That's the one I want. So I really don't need to click the down arrow to select from there. Just click on this icon because this is the one I need. So click it and I click the nine, horizontal nine and vertical nine and fifty. And finally this one will be TTT. So TTT Tension, tension, tension. Okay, the last one here. Of course, I will use polygon easier. So polygon, three sizes, and then I specify the edge. Click one point, move it horizontally, 300. And now for the circle, I can draw a line from corner to middle. And then I can use circle TTT, tangent, tangent, tangent. And do it again. Tangent, tangent, tangent. And do it again. Tangent, tangent, and tangent. And then erase that line. One last thing. When you work in an office and you try to type the C as the circle command, you will be surprised because you will get a copy command instead of the circle command. The reason is in AutoCAD, by default, CO and CP are the copy command. And C is the circle command. 
and because uh, copy is used very often, so they change the copy command COCP to C much faster to type. You can see type C instead of the CO using one hand because AutoCAD you use both hands. One hand on the keyboard, the other hand holding the mouse. You can see very difficult to type CO with one hand. Okay, so they change it to C. And circle, they instead they change it to CI. Let me show you how to do it. And also, I suggest instead of doing this, I suggest you keep your circle as C. And instead, changing the copy command to double C. You see, double key is as fast as single key. Let me show you how. First, you go to the Manage Ribbon here. Edit Alias and Edit Alias. And this is the command alias definition file. When you scroll down, you can see these are the command. C means circle. So you, this is the shortcut and asterisk the real command. Separate with a comma. So some people they change it to CI by something like that. Okay, and for the copy, you can see it is using CO or CP, very slow. So they want to change it. Now to change it, you can change it here. But instead, I will suggest you do it this way. You move to the bottom and change the command alias here. For example, cc, comma, asterisk, copy. So this way, you change the copy command to cc. And still keep the original command of circle. And why I should uh, change it at the bottom? Because if you do it this way, as said in AutoCAD notes here, if you upgrade to the next version, AutoCAD will automatically carry it all these alias to the new version, okay? And by the way, I also suggest you create another shortcut for the rectangle. You see, REC is real slow to type. Just type RR. Okay, I will click the file and save. And then I type CC for copy. You see, it will not give me copy. How come? The reason is AutoCAD only read that text file while starting AutoCAD. But I don't want to restart AutoCAD. In that case, you can type a command called reinit. Then AutoCAD will read the file and you don't need to restart AutoCAD to activate that command alias. So REINIT spacebar and make sure you check this box. Okay, now CC spacebar will be copied. C still will be circle. And RR rectangle, much easier. Okay. So to go back to home ribbon, you click the home. Okay. Previously, we access the manage ribbon. We go back to the home ribbon. So that's all for the circle command reference. Again, if you like the video, please subscribe and like it. And thank you, and bye-bye.